Hi everyone, um, welcome to this Facebook Live. I really wanted to do this today. Um, it's a Sunday and I wanted to do this today for all of you who are in my Facebook community and of course YouTube community as well. So today I'm joined by, um, by Erica Barantes and before I dive in, I would like to just say a little bit about Erica. Um, in one of my previous videos, I spoke about NET, Neuro-Emotional Technique. I had a landslide of inquiries after that mm -hmm. video with, with people asking me, what is it? Who is the person you mentioned? Um, who is it you're seeing for NET? What does it mean? And so there was a landslide of inquiries. And because of that, I decided to invite my NET practitioner and expert on the subject, Erica, onto the show to speak to all of you so that she can answer some of the questions and so that she can explain what it is. So Erica, thank you so much for agreeing to yes. come on. And thank you so much for asking me to come on and help explain a little bit about NET. I'm well, so honored and privileged to be here to help everybody and understand a little bit more. I really wanted yeah. this to happen because um, NET has been so pivotal for me. Um, Many of you have actually written to me over these last few weeks or months to say that, um, that I was looking better and I was looking younger and stuff like that. And so this is why I think in a couple of videos in the last few months, I've mentioned NET. And I started, um, I started playing with it last year with another practitioner. Her name is Michelle Cohen and she practices out of Manhattan Beach here in Southern California. And, uh, and this year, um, I met Erica through someone else because she uh, she practices somewhat differently. So there are so many NET practitioners, and we're going to talk about that in a mm -hmm. minute. Um, but I wanted to start by uh, asking Erica to explain what is NET. Yes, great question. Um, all of us practitioners know out there, we love the question because it's not easy to answer, but it is definitely in depth. I um, usually use the analogy of trying to explain to somebody what something tastes like, like an orange, for example, that never had an orange. And so to explain something of that kind of nature is very, very difficult. Um, so it's somewhat in that experiential uh, way that NET is not easy to explain, but we do our best and we have some great information from um, the netmindbody.com website and um, Dr. Walker's, the founders of NET. And go ahead and put up slide one. There's a simple way I can just put up now explaining in simple terms, uh, we could say that NET is a stress relieving procedure that helps resolve stubborn or recurring mind body problems. You can put the slide down now. And another way to put it down, I'm going to put um, slide two as well. Another simple way to put this perspective uh, definition would be we can say that NET is a way of finding and removing neurological imbalances related to the physiology of unresolved stress patterns versus the psychology. So this is not psychology, this is very much physiology. So that's a, a basic right there um, definition to kind of start off today's topic to kind of, you know, explain a little bit what NET yes. is and does. Um, so I just want the audience to really get a feeling of what the end user um, experiences when they go for an NET session. Um, so over the last, like during the, this COVID time, I was so grateful that NET practitioners like, um, like Erica were still able to practice because you were considered a, um, a, essential. a an essential yeah. healthcare worker. Yes. And for me, this is what has really helped me through this period where I managed to really be, a, I was able to stay uh, positive and healthy and actually improved my health and well-being over this time. So much so that people have actually been complimenting me and saying that I actually look better. And so many people have felt that during the time of lockdown and all that, they gained weight because they were at home and they were eating junk food and binging on Netflix and all. And I managed to actually eat healthier. And one of the things about NET that I love is that it gives you your power back. And mm -hmm. um, the component about NET that I love is the, 
is the, the muscle testing component. And so um, I just also want to explain for a minute why I had a different practitioner last year, uh, who I still see, by the way. So I have two NET practitioners, but NET, the way I see it, is a tool that checks in with your body. It gives the power back to you, to you and your body, and checks in with your body what your body needs. My other NET practitioner, Michelle, she's a chiropractor and she uses NET and then she does chiropractic adjustments. What Erica does is that she uses a whole range of modalities, including acupuncture. Mm -hmm. And so she uses NET to figure out what modality does your body want? And then that's what she offers your body. And so it's, um, so, so it's, so it's like first she's checking with the body and NET is the tool with which to ask your body, like what does your body want? What does it, um, uh, what are the emotional blockages uh, that are stuck in, in our body? So, so now I want to turn to Erica and say, can you walk the audience through a typical session that your client will experience if they were to come and see you? Okay, sure. I'll try to attempt that here. Um, one thing I do want to mention about NET, as far as Anita's point here, that we have a variety of professional healthcare professionals that can get certified at NET. NET is a tool in our toolbox of our professional license. For example, chiropractor, acupuncturist, naturopaths, medical doctors. A lot of um, marriage and family therapists now incorporate NET in their in their practice too. So it really is a wonderful uh, modality that helps also unite the healthcare workers to really work with our patients and team together. It's all about teaming. And uh, to Anita's point, the way the muscle testing works, which we also refer to as applied kinesiology, allows the um, patient practitioner to work as a team. And the healing comes from the patient themselves through the practitioners uh, facilitating through the muscle testing. Um, so one thing I do in the beginning when someone comes to our office and has an initial exam is I explain to them a little bit about the muscle testing because on camera and, or on, and even when you're observing in person, it can appear flaky, so we, we know that and we accept that truth. Um, but it, there's a lot of scientific validities that have been coming through, and we'll show that in a bit too. Um, um, mm -hmm. I think that that bears repeating, that it can appear flaky, but, there, but it has a lot of scientific val validity. Yes. And that's important to me because, what, uh, and I apologize for interrupting, but I just thought this was really important for our audience to hear, yes, yes. that um, that NET, to me, it was like really, really magical because it was a tool that gave me my power back. It uncovered stuck emotions and blocks that were preventing me from being all that I am, that I wasn't even aware was stuck there. But at the same time, I mean, and it's magical. It's absolutely <laughs> magical. But at the same time, it has science to back it up. So it's, it, and, and so I was like, oh my God, that's a bonus because I'm into things that are magical uh, if they work for me, even if I can't explain them. The thing about mm -hmm. NET is that it does have scientific proof to back it up. And, I, and that's what I love because there are people out there who, um, for whom it's hard to convince them to try things that don't have the science to back it up. And so that's why I, I just thought it was great that you, you're actually going to show people the science to back it yes, up. Yes, yes. It's a great bridge between, you know, the, uh, what they call Western medicine versus alternative medicine and Eastern medicine. Many, many terms, allopathic versus naturopathic. It's a great bridge because we're having a lot of um, now research being done to help those who are either afraid or don't know to try this out because it's a great option for your health, um, especially now during these times of stress. It can really bring a toll onto your body, and this is a great modality to help um, through so many different uh, health factors and health issues. Yeah. Yes. So, 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 so what can people expect? Yeah. Um, I was going to bring up this right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. This is a fun little tool I use at my office when I'm being asked to help you walk through a typical session. So um, this is a third grade science project type thing. You can find it online called Energy Ball. And what this does, I love to show because it helps demystify the idea of energy. Um, those of us, in, and probably in this, in this group here, we understand more about the word er energy. Um, to the greater audience out in the world, that's not always as common. So this is another bridge topic that I use to help bring it together. 
So our bodies are about 80%, 90% water, give or take, and water is a conductor naturally of energy. Um, just like the lightning bolts when they strike you know, the earth and you have water, it can conduct water through, or the electrical through the water, and you can be in danger. So in that topic, us having about 80%, 90% water, this kind of shows a little gadget with little two metal plates. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But if you Google this energy ball, you'll find them online. It's in a lot of scientific uh, teachers that teach science in schools. When I hold both sides, I'm sure you can hear this, it'll turn on the light and make a noise because my conduction of my two fingertips here are closing a circuit. And what I do with patients when they come in for the first time or when I give a health talk, I show them how if you put your hand on the other side of this metal plate, nothing happens yet, it's quiet, but then you go ahead and hold my hand and it turns the circuit on. Because we've completed the circle. Exactly. So here, because this end of me and that end of you are like, the, it doesn't complete a circle. So the minute, see, isn't that interesting? Yes. So, so we are conducting, we're acting as the wires, the cables yes. to complete the circuit. Exactly. Yeah. So it's a nice demonstration visually to help demystify when we use the applied kinesiology methods with what we call muscle testing. It kind of gives a little bit of that understanding of why when you test a muscle through this modality, we're not testing how strong your muscle is, which is what it looks like. We're testing for a reflex. Um, not unlike a doctor who tests your deep tendon reflex from your knee, your patella, or your elbow, when they test your reflexes, your arm just jumps, or your leg just jumps, it's um, a reflex. It's nothing you do automatically um, through your thought. It's just an automatic response through your body. That's the mechanism we're using with applied kinesiology to get information through the NET process. Yeah. That makes sense? That, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. So, for example, when I go for an appointment with, Michelle, uh, with um, Erica, when I go for an appointment with Erica, what she does is she, she tests my muscles on certain issues. I may say that, oh, this week I've been feeling really, really anxious. And what I love is that, um, so it's, it's, and so emotions might be being triggered because of things that are happening in the outside world. And then, and so I thought we could walk them through what actually mm -hmm. happens. So let's say if a client walks in and says, I've been feeling a lot of anxiety, what's the first thing you would do? Sure. Okay. Good question. So you're probably already an ongoing, an ongoing um, patient in my office. Yeah. So what I do is usually you can pick either arm depending on what you feel because it doesn't matter what muscle you test, it's getting the reflex um, feedback. So usually the, the arm is the easiest muscle to use. Yes. So I'll use, for example, for showing this arm here. So I'm gonna push down on this arm and you're gonna match my pressure. So again, I'm pushing, I'm gonna exaggerate. I'm gonna push really hard and I can't move that arm. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my fingertip right between your eyebrows. This is what we call a reflex test to check the polarity of all the meridians. And I make sure this is nice and balanced. Put my fingertip here, up again and it's nice and oh, open. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so I can use my pinky, and her arm goes weak. Um, oh, yeah. And that's just a reflex that I'm looking for to make sure things are just in that particular reflex, open and flowing, so I can move forward with the uh, checking for anxiety. And, and I was using the same pressure to push up. So once she did that, it, it went Yeah, weak. and again, yeah. And we know it looks flaky on camera. We, we understand that, but it really is an experience that the practitioner and the patient will feel energetically, and you can just feel how your body responds to the reflex we're testing for. Yeah. yeah, and then so how would you help somebody who is going through anxiety, say, for yeah. example? So, yeah, um, anxiety is a, is a physical um, sensation on many different levels. People feel it in their chest, some feel it in their head. Um, it's many, many different um, expressions of anxiety. So I would just check um, the actual meridian, what we call meridian access points, and see where in the body is there a reflex that's already having a break in the strength. And then that person will have... Um, that meridian giving me information to, to move forward with the, with, the, with the technique. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll, I'll scan, for example, the lungs. Um, if I had a chart here, we could do it you know, next time, but there's points in the body that reflect the meridians, kind of like the idea of a volcano um, on Earth that comes to a peak. There's a lot of energy at that peak, and our bodies have certain areas on, on the torso and throughout the body that can show up for meridian um, a meridian access point is what's called MAP, MAP. Yes. And so I use that to kind of see what's going on and start from there. Yeah, yeah. and um, you mentioned earlier that it's a tool that's being used by different therapists yes. from different modalities. So NET is a tool that, mm -hmm. uh, so it's it doesn't add, so, so a lot of people say, oh, it's confusing. There's so many modalities out there. What should I use? What I like about NET is that NET can actually 
be used with any modality and it can actually help you determine what is going on inside of you and it can help you determine which modality is the best one for you. Mm -hmm. You can even use NET to determine like do you want acupuncture today, do you want um, do you want supplements today or, or whatever? So it's, so that's one of the things I like about NET. Yeah, I'll go over again. Uh, I don't think you even mentioned the actual NET stands for Neuro Emotional Technique. I don't even think I realized I said that yet, but even though the word emotions is in there, it's about the physiology of the emotions chemistry. Um, so there are four bases that we focus on in NET. One of them is emotions. The other three have to do with the physical which is like chiropractic, acupuncture, even massage, even exercise, tai chi and golfing, for example. Then we have the nutritional base, and that's where we check for supplementation and what you need or what you have too much of can be also a case. And then the fourth base uh, has to do with the homeopathy and looking for toxins and using items like homeopathy and, and supplements to help the body balance out that way. So NET is a comprehensive of uh, four bases to achieve um, a holistic perspective on a certain blo blockage in the body. Yeah. The blockage can be from, again, physical sense or something that you're, um, it's, in your, it's in your environment, for example. See, um, yeah, what I find really fascinating is uncovering the blockages in your body that you didn't even know you had. Um, because um, I shared the story in one of my previous videos about how you discovered the blockage I had to receiving money. Yeah. And, and I thought that was so interesting because it came from the time when I was six years old and I kept lending money to this little boy in my class and he wasn't giving it back to me. And, uh, and, and I felt very, very uncomfortable when finally his, his mom gave me back the money. And, and, so, uh, and so it's really interesting that you can be completely unaware that you have this blockage, but also um, what I like is that you don't have to figure it out. Yes. You don't have to use your mind to work through and figure out what is it I'm doing wrong, because that's one of the things that people in this genre of healing and self-help and people who want to go into alternative ways of healing, they spend a lot of time trying to figure it out. Um, they, they spend a lot of, people spend a lot of time thinking, I don't want to give my power away. I want to take responsibility for healing, which is exactly what we want to do. But then we assume that because we're taking responsibility for our healing, that we have to figure it out with our mind and that we have to go it alone. Right. Whereas that's not the case. You can take responsibility for your healing, but tools like NET, um, and, and having a practitioner, you, you can still have practitioners to help you, but tools like NET help you to empower yourself yes. because it actually puts it back on asking your body, what does your body need right now? What is stuck and blocked in your body? And that's what I like about it. Yes. Like the way we found, I was going to ask or mention how we found that one about money because you don't so they consciously have anything with money, no. but we were playing around with the bills, like the actual physical bills, and I had her pretend to take the money back that was hers from me. We just kind of, we took the other modalities like me paying her, and yeah. then also had gone weak, and then, yeah. and then her paying me was fine. Her arm was strong. That was an example. And so we can find different ways of where your body actually has the, the, um, the imbalances or the weaknesses. And then when we had the money being taken back by you, that's how we opened up the uh, memory of age six. And again, there's no thinking involved per se. It was just the way NAT is designed is to help um, deduct what is causing the stress and how we can f help the body relieve that stress. And it's always uh, another uh, word I want to use is emotional reality. It's based on the reality of the patient, not always what actually happened or didn't happen. And emotional reality is so powerful because what you perceive is more important than what's reality because that's what your body's actually reacting to. And so that's another, another angle to explain NET when it comes to affirmations or blockages when it comes to yeah. ideas. See, affirmations are really interesting because people um, use affirmations. It's so popular in this genre mm -hmm. uh, where people are saying things like, um, I have, uh, like, I am amazing, I am beautiful, I am powerful, I am well, and all these things. But if you have a blockage that prevents you from feeling that way, that's underlying, you, you usually it's, um, you're not realizing 
but the underlying programming, Bruce Lipton talks about yes, this. I love his work. Yeah, I love yes. his work too. He talks about it. So NET breaks through that programming that Bruce Lipton talks about. Exactly. Yeah, That's exactly. what I love about NET. It breaks through because people ask, okay, so how do I break through that programming that occurred to me from the age of zero to seven? Well, NET is what breaks through it because we found mm -hmm. that money block happened to me when I was six years old. But people can use affirmations, but if they have a block in their programming, they'll need to release that first before that affirmation even works. Because mm -hmm. sometimes the affirmation can actually make you feel worse because it kind of makes you feel inadequate that you don't have that yet, that yes. you are affirming. It's going to be really frustrating for those of us who are working hard on ourselves and that missing link is just not, it's kind of eluding us. And one of the things they say about uh, in psychology, just basic psychology, that 80% of what's going on in our minds is subconscious. We don't, we're not even aware of our motivations or behaviors as to why we do something. So we can have the 20% of our brain having a logical, reasonable goal, like, you know, being okay with money, being okay with being spiritual and being healthy, all these things that we know we want to be okay with, but it's not playing out in your life. And so sometimes those could be clues where NET can kind of navigate and figure out where in the vibration of your cellular memory is there an incongruency. Um, NET is not about yes or no, true or false. It's more about finding your body's congruency with what is that you want to be true um, or you think it is true, but you're finding out in your life it's not matching. Yeah. And that makes sense too? That makes a lot of yeah. sense. It's like, um, you know, like, for example, another one that you found, and I'm going to share this with the audience, which is really interesting, was that um, I see myself as somebody who is out there in the public eye sharing these messages, writing these books, doing all this. But when you tested me, my muscles on um, how does my body feel about being a leader That's right. well, the first or being a did. public figure or being an influencer, I went weak. My body went weak. So in other words, I wasn't congruent which is what causes stress, yes. which and stress causes inflammation, which causes, uh, you know, um, disease or whatever. So, so that's why I love that NET also clears that blockage. Mm -hmm. So in my language, it's like you clear the blockage and then the energy flows. Yes, we were talking earlier about how, how this NET helps your body get more congruent with your life. Yes. So therefore life is easier or gets easier as you find these areas um, unblocked or resolved yeah. from the past triggers, so yeah. Yeah, because to me, again, this is using my language, non-scientific language, it <laughs> connects me to who I truly am. It connects me to what my soul came here to be. So on the yes. one hand, my soul may want something, but my physical body may have had a trauma that is preventing it from from aligning itself with the soul that's kind of how i see it in non-scientific terms love it <laughs> <laughs> yeah so net helps me to line myself with my soul yes <laughs> very nice um we have questions coming up should we go ahead and answer those or do you have yes. more Is and then i want to speak about the other slide you have of oh the, yes very important but, but we can answer these questions first so one of them is can you learn net in germany and europe Yes, great question. Um, I know there's a website you can go to called netmindbody.com and you can go to the seminars. NET does um, train all over the world um, practitioners to learn NET. They've been around, I believe, for over 30 years. Now we've had the 30th anniversary come up um, last year, if I'm not mistaken. And so uh, there is good information there about where you can learn to do NET. Um, and again, uh, to be a licensed practitioner in your, in your country, they'll, they'll let you know how that works as far as who can learn it and who can, you know, has to get a certain de degree or license. And, and, yeah. and then I see another question here about, is it possible to perform NET on themselves? Yes. This is a great question. So NET is very, um, very much a modality that is with the practitioner to get laser focused. There is a great tool called a first aid stress tool, FAST, NET, that has been powerful and it's been, it's been used for a couple of years now where um, it's not NET, but it is a way to uh, utilize your body's circuits and your meridians to help resolve stress that's happening to you in the moment. Sometimes you don't have words for the emotion, but you can actually perform this. And again, if you go to the website firstaidstresstool.com, 
there's all these instructions and information on how to do it. It's very easy where you um, utilize the meridian pulses. Uh, I don't want to get too technical, but there's pulses on your uh, wrist that correspond to the acupuncture meridian system. And through connecting, kind of like the energy ball again, connecting those circuits with your emotional points in your forehead and reaching over on both sides and taking deep breaths, you can resolve a lot of um, ongoing stress that's happening in the moment. So in that regard, you can work on yourself with that technique. I've had patients, especially young patients who come and see me. After a while, I had one little boy tell his mom, uh, Mom, I don't need to see Dr. Eric anymore because just doing this when I feel stressed, I'm, I'm good. So I'm, I'm good for the, for the summer. <laughs> and I was so happy for him because that's exactly the goal. The goal is to empower patients to have tools for self-care. Uh, and the NAT actual modality is more laser-focused laser for specific you know, treatments. Yeah. But yeah, there's a, there's a range of how NAT can help for personal use and then through a practitioner's assistance. I love that because NET creates independence and empowerment yes. as opposed to creating dependence on the practitioner. Right. See, that's, that's really, really beautiful. Um, and, and what I love also is that what NET does is that it releases those things so you're not working on them all the time. Yes, you it's can actually, move on. Yes, you move on. You kind of evolve and you move on. Yes. What was that website again where they can learn NET? Uh, the is firstaidstresstool.com. Firstaidstresstool.com. And you can also find it. I will post it, it afterwards. Yes, underneath. yes. It's yeah. also on the NET website, which is the netmindbody.com, where you can find practitioners, you can find where to learn NET as a practitioner, so there's a lot of great tools there on that website that can go further into what we're talking about. Yeah, this is more technical. And if you're looking for a practitioner, if you're in the uh, in Southern California in the South Bay area, there's Erica who's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, and, and we have it's, the team is a, an amazing team of practitioners all over the world, and I'm so proud to be part of that network because all when we go to the seminars and get to see each other before the COVID, of course, and having the seminars, we do so much great work together and. Um, the group is growing. We have thousands all over the world. And again, all backgrounds of practitioners, not just chiropractors, not just acupuncturists, but other um, types that can work well together. Yes. Mm -hmm. And another thing about NET that I want to mention is that um, we were having this d discussion where you were mentioning that certain things can trigger a response within us and we're not That's even right. always aware of it. Kind of like Pavlov's dogs yes. where every time um, the person rings the bell that the dog salivates because they associate it with being dinner time. Um, what I thought was super interesting is when you said that there are people who have dealt with um, that cancer survivors yes, and certain things can trigger them feeling going back. So they're survivors, they're healed, they're fine, they don't have any cancer anymore. But certain things can actually trigger them to go back emotionally to the state they were in when they were dealing with the cancer. I thought that was fascinating because one of the things that I know that happens is when cancer survivors have to go through their tests every time, yes. whether it's every three months, six months, every year, when they go for their scans, that fear, that trigger, it takes them right back to when they we're dealing with the disease and that's what's happening in their body, in their mind. Mm -hmm. And NET can actually help people, but I, I'd like you to speak to that and maybe, and you said you had a slide yes, on that. Yes, yes, actually that was uh, one of the foundational um, uh, patient um, group that they used for the recent research they had in 2017. They took um, the post traumatic stress syndrome of these patients who have survived cancer and it's in, uh, I'll show the slide, I'm gonna put the slide up now with this um, idea that these patients were given a script, they had a control group in a, in a double blind study. And with these patients, they all had a, a form of surviving a cancer. And they went back through the script of that memory. And if you see in figure one, the figure one demonstrates the um, area of the brain that gets triggered, which is the parahippocampus. And you can see where the blue lines cross and the red light is lit there. After three or four sessions, utilizing only NET, only the basic NET without the homeopathy, without any kind of chiropractic or acupuncture, and without nutrition, it was just the NET alone, this is the kind of results they got in figure two, which you, if you can see on the screen, there's no red um, marker of the stress in that part of the brain. And again, this is, um, in 2017, was published um, 
at the Thomas Jefferson University in Pennsylvania. Uh, the OneFoundation.org has information on the data here as well. We, again, we'll put it at the, at the end of the, yes. the websites if you want to get more data. But just this image alone, you can see how NAT um, was so powerful in the effects of the brain showing the stress response being pretty much deleted. And so that person will still have a memory of what happened, but the charge of the emotion is now you know, showing to be gone, which a lot of us who've been practicing this for many years, I was a patient of NAT as a teenager, changed my life uh, you know, in several ways. Now we can see it on an MRI screen from our research funding um, to show what we've already known in our hearts, we can, yes. you know, it's again like the orange, you know you feel better, yes. but now we have these tangible um, scans to uh, show the validity of NET that helps, again, bridge those who are out there searching and want to try something besides yeah. drugs and, yeah. Exactly, that's what I love, is that the, you can see the results without, and it's been done without drugs, without anything. Mm -hmm. And the other part I love is that it's not talk therapy and you don't right. even have to understand it for it to work yes. because one of the things that um, uh, that I deal with when I'm speaking to people who are going through illnesses they're like wanting to know it's like why why is this happening to me or what is it I'm not getting why is this not healing and if you're in that state of why is this not healing why am I still dealing with it NET can actually help you to get deeper into your own programming, into your own psyche. And again, in my non-medical, non-scientific way, it does help you get deeper to your soul and to align what your, your physical existence with your mm -hmm. soul's purpose. That's what it did for me. And I'm spe saying it, I'm, I don't want to put words into Erica's mouth because she's a professional. Um, and, and she is totally accredited and, and, and everything. But me as a layman, as somebody who has received NET, um, for me it was, um, it, it was a game changer. It was really a game changer because it really does help you align and it really is something that just works because your body just speaks. It's, Dr. Gabor Mate has spoken about, he's written this beautiful book called When the Body Says No. Um, <clears throat> NET really demonstrates how the body holds on to, to things, to, um, to trauma from when you're younger and you don't realize that that is the programming that's preventing you from get to where you think you want to go. It's also the same thing that Dr. Bruce Lipton talks about, as I said earlier. It's the programming from your earlier years. NET gets to the crux of it and I'm surprised that it's not more mainstream and not being used by more physicians. It really needs to be more mainstream. Yeah, yeah. when you say that, that's my motivation for, um, this is my first time ever doing anything like a that's Facebook right. Live. I've never been on camera, I'm not a public speaker, but I'm so honored to have this opportunity because that's my motivation, is that people need to know about this. I get a little emotional. Mm. Yeah. Um. <laughs> that's why you're, you're so amazing, you're so humble, and yeah, Erica really is super humble. And even when I told her that, um, you know, I'd like to tell people to come and come and have a session with her. And she said, oh, but there's so many wonderful NET practitioners out there. They are. Yes, they're all the best. They're all amazing. And again, yeah, I, I was so honored. I'm so grateful that it's with you that I get to experience this, you know, this platform. But the motivation is the world does need NET. Um, OneFoundation.org stands for Our Net Effect foundation.org. Yes. yes. I love that. I really, really love that. And um, I actually feel that um, it's, it, it will help you to uncover the root cause of your illnesses. It will help you to uncover a whole lot of things without having to really invest your mind in trying to work mm -hmm. it out. Because it doesn't come from the mind. You know, the mind is what takes you down that whole rabbit hole. Very often that, that rabbit hole that causes you the stress and yeah. the illness in the first place. NET just cuts through it. And it reminds, like. me, it reminds me when I read your book the first time. And I was like, oh, it's just saying to my heart. I almost, I tease people now when they come to my office and go, oh, a prerequisite to come, you know, to get work when is read and read and read this book, Dying to Be Me, because it really does have that platform where as a practitioner, I can't always speak that language because I have limitations to what I can say sometimes as a 
licensed, you know, have to, you know, watch out for. But Anita's book really does demonstrate a lot of what I feel is so powerful in healing yes. and the ability to get your mind out of the way and just have a knowingness that it's all there. It's just we're human and we have all these cells to, you know, we have trillions of cells that have their own mind. Um, I don't know if you, you know, if you're aware of that, my, I believe that every cell in our body has their own intelligence. That's why our heart beats without us having to instruct it. And that intelligence is that we have to respect that intelligence and understand and be humble to it. That when we're living through this body's mechanism, um, we need to have tools to help us out and manage yeah. and connect again. Yeah, see, yeah. Oh, well, thank you for telling everybody to read my book. She yeah. tells all her <laughs> clients to read my book. I love that. It's, just, it's a great, it's a great uh, synergy of, of the work we do with NET. And what you're, what you, what you've come to bless us with us, oh, the thank message. You. Yeah, thank I, you so I much. I love that. And and since I'm not um, a licensed practitioner of any kind, I often speak purely from my emotion and yes. just what I feel and what what I feel has informed my thinking since the near death experience. And and I speak from my own personal experience. And and one of the things that um, that I have committed myself to is finding modalities, healing modalities, because I hear the pain of all the people who write mm -hmm. in who are going through illnesses. And, and so, and very often, I think what breaks my heart the most is when I feel that a lot of that pain and limitation is actually caused by our current medical paradigm. And, um, and so this is, this is not Erica's view, this is my view. Uh, and so when I find things that are empowering, that can make you feel that yes, you can heal, yes, there is a way, yes, there is hope, then um, I, just, I just feel this calling to bring it out to the public and to tell you about it, to tell people about it. Mm -hmm. Because one of the things that actually bothers me, again, this is just me, what really bothers me is that everything that is not um, associated with our Western medical model, that means everything that is, yeah, everything that's not associated with the Western medical model, every healing modality is labeled as alternative. And that bothers me because I see all of them um, as being on the same level, including that Western medical model. I'm not dissing it, I'm not saying that we should not go see a doctor. I'm absolutely not saying it and I'm not against it. But I do think that there are a lot of other modalities and tools that are equally valuable. But for some reason, our culture has put the medical model on a pedestal and has downplayed everything else. Whereas that medical model is just one of many tools and it's not for everyone. It is for a lot of people or it may be for certain circumstances, but it's not for every circumstance. There are so many other tools available, but what we've done is we've downplayed those others and we have subliminally been telling people that these others are alternative and that they are woo-woo. Mm. And we have also been um, like, just about every um, model healing modality that is not the Western medical model, just, uh, uh, just about every other healing modality has to always have a disclaimer. I had to put a disclaimer in my book, Dying to Be Me. And this disclaimer, and, and many authors have to put this in their book, healing books, and many practitioners have to say that this is, that please do not stop seeing your medical doctor. This is not aimed at what it, blah, blah, blah. Is, um, and I feel that that disclaimer, and this is my personal opinion, again, that it actually subliminally disempowers that modality. And I feel, in fact, we need to believe that these modalities work because they do. They really do. They empower us. And for me, I do better on most of the uh, alternatives than I do on the medical because I don't like pharmaceuticals. They I just don't like them in my body. It takes me a long time to get over uh, pharmaceuticals when I put them in, in my body. I'm sensitive to them. I'm sure I'm not the only one. So mm -hmm. I do a lot better with things like acupuncture and NET and 
Um, but NET can be used even in Western medicine. It can, yeah. Exactly. So I think it's about time that medical doctors started to use NET yeah. as well. And there's more and more. If you go on the website, you'll see. I've been looking because people ask me all the time. My aunt lives in Cal you know, lives in New York, or I have a cousin in Virginia. Where can I? Who can I send them to? So I'll go on myself on the website and find colleagues that I've met, you know, in the past, and help them pick practitioners as well, and I'm seeing a lot more MDs on there, a lot more MFTs, and Which it's a joy, great. it's great, because that's how we can really collaborate better for the sake of our communities, to have more options. Exactly, which is really great, yeah. and, and it is also great that many, many MDs are actually becoming a lot more open and realizing that their patients do well on many of what are considered alternative. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, and it's uh, up to us to continue to to spread that and change the the thinking of people. Exactly. So thank you again for you know having this platform that we can share and um, to communicate our truths that what works for us and hopefully you can find it for yourself and yeah yeah. And if you have any other questions, just you know let us know and or yeah, you can keep posting the questions. Um, you know, send them into through my website or post them under the video, uh, and uh, we will get to them eventually. Um, so, in fact, thank you all so much for tuning in, and I'm sure Erica will be back again. And before you go off air, Erica, mm -hmm. uh, I'd like you to tell the people how they can find you if people would like to actually come and see you or make an appointment with you. Sure, okay, yeah, thank you. I'm here in Torrance, California, and I'm a licensed acupuncturist, and um, purelifeacupuncture.com is my website, and there we have a phone number there, our address. And our office staff, Natalie and Kim, shout out to you guys. Without them, I wouldn't, we wouldn't have our, our amazing clinic to offer love yeah. and care for our patients. Yeah. So you'll call the office and talk to one of them. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned our little ambassador oh, yes. here. Yoda. I have a, there's a, uh, we have a little ambassador. He's taking a nap right now. Yoda Hachi. Yoda. You want to come up here? <laughs> <laughs> so when you walk into her office, there you he get is. greeted by little Yoda. <laughs> hey, Yoda. He's at uh, our office as well. He has doggy doors and he'll visit you when you come in and say hi. And so he's another part of our team. So I thought I'd mention him a little shout out for this little guy. <laughs> and your website again is pure, yeah, P U R E life acupuncture.com. It's acupuncture with one C, just in case it's a popular misspelling to have two C's, but it's one C. And yeah, feel free to give us a call and email if you have any questions. and. Again, netmindbody.com, netmindbody.com for practitioners around the world, for seminars, and actually more data on what we spoke on today yeah. and more information. And then the onefoundation.org is the research part of the NET, and that's how we got the, the, the results we found tw three years ago published, and we're doing more, more and more research there. It's an amazing organization to be a part of and to support so we can have more doctors and um, availabilities of these modalities for people. Fabulous. Yes. <laughs> uh, thank you. One day when uh, I am able to create these real mm -hmm. brick and mortar sanctuaries, <laughs> we will have you there as the, you know, as the head NET practitioner <laughs> to teach. Oh my God, it'd be an other. honor. <laughs> I would love that. That, yes. that would be so amazing. Yeah, to serve our community that way. There's a community of us out there that need to have a place to feel safe. Yeah, and, and yeah. I, I, I would love a place where people who are um, just going through whatever physical challenges they are, that they can come and heal in a place that is that actually supports what they're going through, where they don't feel depleted yeah. or fearful, but where they actually get a safe place to work on the trajectory of their healing. Yeah, and explore that part, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, wonderful. Well, well, thank you all so yes, much for tuning in, you. and uh, can't wait to see you all again. I'm going to read your comments, love to hear comments, questions, anything at all.